combinations of prints um, that make uh, an abstracted I'm going to be like that. here. That would be great. The real eyebrow brush. I tried to brush my teeth with it, but it's not pleasant. So I put it back in my makeup kit. <laughs> it's not like the way one. Yeah, just one. The inspiration today is, uh, I would say, an effortless '60s hairstyle. So we're recreating a '60s shape, but for today. And we're blow drying the hair with Plump and um, the T3 Evolution Dryer. Um, and then we're spraying Elevate in the hair for a little bit more texture. But the, the key parts of the blow dry are to get volume here on the top. And then the front gets blow dried forward. And then we just split it around the girl's face. And then before they go out, we're just going to make sure that this gets bumped up. But, in a, in a kind of way that's kind of effortlessly done. Basically, it's a very, very gorgeous skin, you know, impeccable, very dewy, very silky, with a soft veil of powder on top of, of, of the foundation. That vivid, bright orange eyeliner. On the cheeks, it will be a veil of bronzer, apricot, to just give us a, a, a lovely sun kiss, a very sensual touch. And the lips are a creamy, it's a lipstick, a new lipstick called, called Vanilla Truffle. Yeah, every collection, you know, I kind of uh, find an uh, inspiration that kind of um, stays in my head and, and I kind of keep going back to it and that means it's a good inspiration. Um, in this case, it was a, a review of California Artists by Peter Stengel in The New Yorker and it's titled uh, Way Out West. And he's talking about, um, in the 1960s, um, modernist uh, art uh, painters, uh, environmental artists, and what their spin was, what they brought to the modernist uh, point of view. Um, but really it's more about his review than actually the art, because Peter writes so beautifully and he evokes such a great um, environment that I wanted the collection to exist in. I think Derek Lamb is one of the great young American designers who understand what we want to wear because I wear, I wear a lot of his clothes. And also how to give us fashion, give us surprises, not have it be boring or predictable or office-like. I mean, he really hits that note. It's feminine, there's an edge, but it's really easy to wear, and so it's very flattering. He's got a lot of, um, woman friendly designs. I think everything is very, you know, innovative and um, I think everything is, you know, you can wear it in the city um, and it's still chic and, you know, every piece goes together, you can mix and match it and, um, and a little bit of sexy. It was really about uh, simplicity that was not going to be banal. I wanted modern textures, so we're playing with very crisp uh, fabrics and hands, but very, very lightweight. Uh, a lot of the, uh, well, all the fabrics really are kind of based uh, in, a, in a, a very structured way, but light as air. Spring is always a challenge because you're dealing with less textures and less layers, and so it's much more subtle. And, um, but I think subtlety is, is appropriate at this moment.
it's really one of those things where um, I want the clothes to look familiar. To, you can, when you see it, you know what it is, so in that way it's very honest. But also there's that quality of sensuality that makes you just want to put it on. His design fits perfectly in with my style. I, you know, I really, I think he's, uh, he's really got something very specific, but it could go, you know, mix and match pieces with whatever you're wearing and, and could look great because it's, it's timeless. Well, it's instant gratification. It's just you slip it on and you know that you feel good and you look good and it's, it's, it's exactly what fashion should be. I mean, there are times when you do want your fashion to be more challenging and to be crazy and to, you know, get attention. But Derek sort of lets the woman shine, but he does it with really beautiful clothes. Well, I love um, working on the kind of minutia of um, the clothes because I think that's where um, a customer can find um, some kind of hidden charm to what I've done with the clothes. Uh, so the first effect is simple, chic, um, stylish, and then you see kind of the little details that uh, make them very special. For me, the, the, the testament if we did a good collection is, uh, is it something that women want to you know, see on the runway and kind of wear immediately? You know, obviously, we're talking about next spring, but just to uh, inspire someone uh, to look forward to the new season.